Well, hello there. My name is Miles Bear, and you might be wondering, who's this handsome fellow on here? Okay, never mind. Well, let's get the chase. Hello there. Name is Miles Bear. You can call me Miles, and welcome to a game which is called Monument Valley 2. As you can see, it looks familiar, right? Because this is the same exact map as the introductory. Monument Valley 2 is a game where everything is all about the perspective of how you see things to solve the puzzles. Thus, why, is, why the first version is called Panoramic Edition. Ah. There you have it. Monument Valley 2. It is a pretty game, a very, very pretty game, and the puzzles on this one are actually quite challenging. And I do, I do, I did enjoy the first game, which is Monument Valley One, and that I've played in this channel before. You can check it out in the description down below for the for, for the playlist. But I believe if I do want to explain this game, it might actually be better for me to just show you the gameplay right ahead, right right as we start here. The vestibule in which Ro introduces her child her child to the valley <laughs> my english jeez alrighty well nothing much happening right now and this is a button oh is that a child oh we have somebody actually following us this time oh that's cute all right you know you're gonna come with us oh you are okay all right so if you, if you haven't not watched the first, if you have never seen the gameplay, yeah, you, you, there's a series of buttons, uh, rotations, and stuff like that to solve the puzzle, like this right here. Now, the, the, the thing I pressed earlier was a button that usually interacts this way. So, as you can see, you might be wondering, how the heck do we get to the next button? And there is no path here, and as you can see, the elevation is definitely higher. But lo and behold... Ta-da! You have now you now have a path, and this is where this is the, where you have to be really creative on how you see things. Literally, as perspective is literally everything, and the key to solve the puzzles in this game. Ah, all right. I guess we're going to the next stage. We now have to go back to the bottom. So as usual, as the same thing as earlier, go through this bridge. Spin it around, and we can now step on this button. I guess it up. Oh, yep. The other thing that I like about this game is how unexpected things are, because who would have expected that the bridge earlier would just flip up? Oh, we just flip up and ex and reveal a new path like this. And I didn't. I was expecting for us to literally like take a round around rodeo before we could even reach you. But no, apparently this thing dropped down and gave gave us a path. Oh, all right. And that should be the first stage, I'm assuming. Or if it's the same as the first game, there's gonna be a ship we have to touch or release. Oh, where are we? Are we underground now? Hmm. Oh, okay. That's it. Oh, never mind, that was not it. Alright, we are now in a dark, creepy dungeon. What does this spin? Alright, that spins that way. So I assume we have just have to get through here. Oh. Ah, the mu aside from the visual of this game, the audio, the music, the ambience in this game is also mm, top-notch. I swear. I'm so I guess we just have to go here again now. I really like the first game, and this game was also released by the same studio, which was released last year. Uh, with the the same time with the first game, it took me a while to play the first, the second game, the, the sequel to this game, because I did I did find that the first game was quite short, so I was afraid that this game might be the same, and I I did have other games I was interested in playing. So I hope you guys are going to still enjoy this series because. 
you may not like the way that there is barely any story or there is a story but it's really cryptic or like in a way that we do have to kind of imagine ourselves but for me the game itself the puzzles the visuals and the music are really really just top notch even in you we know the work our mothers left for us so you're the new ghost of apostles i suppose bro i see fear do you forget how young we were but I have a child. I'm no longer young. I should not be young. Well, then the question is: Is the is the character we're playing the same as the last, the first game where we are all a bunch of crows? <laughs> so, well, the spoilers, but I should have added a spoiler alert before this. So, spoiler alert. <laughs> well, we're collecting something now instead of giving things out. Interesting. Wait, I didn't even realize we had a hat earlier. Are we now praying to something? Complete? Alright. Uh, I wish you could see the overall like architect, the shape of the dungeon again earlier. Well, I, ass I, ass I assume we will be seeing more of that later. Well, let's continue on. The game itself is quite short, technically, if I were to say. It's not as complicated as you think it was, but even though it's quite short and simple, unlike the other game, Door Spider, that I've played, the puzzles here are actually quite interesting and visually pleasing, much more compared to Door's Paradox. I'm not sure why, maybe because of how much more how much more minimalistic this game is compared to Door's Paradox, where even though there's only a single door, you have a bunch of shite going on at the same time. Okay, enough of that. The second stage. You might be wondering, no rotating things? So what do we do? So, you might have noticed there's uh, three dots and things beside these things. It's because this is a drag. Unlike the, unlike the rotating thing earlier, we can move while our cat, our cat is on it. Which makes it very fun. So, apparently this goal is just to, uh, for us. No buttons, just reach the door I suppose. I wonder where we'll pop out from. Oh, we're not even popping out from the same exact uh, location. We're popping out from somewhere, somewhere, some other places. All right. Oh, all right. It's a jigsaw. Okay. So we have to balance it out first. Move there. Go here. I'm assuming we. Oh nope. Never mind. We are. Okay. Everything. This is what I like about this game too. Because oh no, our child. No! Child! Come back! Why can't he use a perspective earlier? No, child! Hurry! Well, we're separated now. What do? What the? Well, that worked. I'm assuming we have to get to where the child- Oh, okay, we only can- we only control the mother, the row. We don't control the child. Alright. I thought we were gonna control the child as well, but apparently not. No, it would have made a much more interesting puzzle if we had to control two separate characters to uh, solve the puzzle, but I guess not. Well, maybe in the, maybe down the line in the next stages, we'll have, we'll, be, we'll have the chance to control two characters because, personally, that adds a chat that adds more to the challenge to the puzzle solving. Okie dokie. Ah, I can't solve if I can't do it if I'm there. Okay. I'm assuming. Ah, I knew it. So it is. It is so. Yep. As you can as you see from this game, also graffiti defying is normal. Oh. Okay. That. Okay, interesting. So I was about to ask, what? Why is? Why are the buttons on this ones different? Because usually it's only square or like a, a circled edge square. But this is stars, and they don't really provide anything different to the uh, to the puzzle solving. But instead, they do just provide visual aesthetic. Ah, okay then. All right, let's see what we have here. We don't have the hat either. Maybe we pull it out. Yep, we pulled it out of nowhere. What's gonna come out this time? Wow, 
five. Oh, we have to click it. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Eh? Oh, do we just make our own shape there? Oh, damn! If I knew that, if I knew that was the case, uh, I would have made any. Uh, I would have made something cooler. But, but that's really cool. That's a that's a new interactive thing we can do there compared to the first game. Because in the first game, uh, the goal was really different. So this time around, we just make complete random shapes, huh? Oh, that's a shape. All right, let's go on. Let's see. Oh, this time the row and the child are in a separate level. Let's see what this is all about. The viaduct, in which the child learns her first lesson. Oh, are we, is it is it gonna is it gonna happen? We're gonna have we're gonna be able to control two separate characters to solve puzzles. Is this gonna be it? Okay. Oh, that's a throwback. Oh, I'm not even controlling controlling a character anymore. That's a throwback. That crow was basically us in the first game, but is it the same for this game? Interesting. Oh! Ah, uh, I thought I was gonna control it manually, but apparently, but nah, it was, it was automatic. The child just moves it by itself, even without us having to control it. Hmm, I wonder if it's gonna be the same case for later. Wow. What's the- Oh! Oh! This game really likes the impossible triangles, huh? Okay, I, get, I think I get what I have to, I'm supposed to do here. Okie dokie. Let's move here. There you go. This game really loves the impossible triangle. Not that I don't- that, not that I mind. It makes a really interesting puzzle. And platforming, actually. <laughs> and then, no, it's not platforming, it's not called platforming, it's just puzzle. It is easy to be nervous when she grows so quickly. Often the challenge we face do not require the strength to hold on, but the strength to let go. Ah. Is this, is this that thing where like sometimes it's much much less painful to just let go instead of holding on? Ah, uh, well, such deep thoughts. Oh, we are separated now. Let me guess. The, 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 our child is still gonna mirror us. Yep. Well, well, well. Uh-huh. You step on the child? Okay, this kind of makes it a bit- this kind. This is also somewhat interesting in the fact that the child is basically a mirror of us. But this also leads to some concerns personally. Yeah, because that means... We have to position ourselves carefully. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I guess for now since this is still introductory. The puzzles themselves and the mirroring themselves are not that difficult, but... Oh! This is a bit trippy, <laughs> personally. <laughs> Alright, so... We can't- we need to have- we need to advance first. But the issue with this way is that the child needs to advance later due to the, how the structure works. Okay... I wonder then. I guess we have to step on this button. Oh. I, okay, I get it, I get Alright, we do that. Press the button simultaneously. So if it's circle, it has to be pressed simultaneously. Good to know. Okay... So now we do, we go back here, right? Spin this for the child. Oh no, never mind. We just have to do it like this. Okay. Well, it's so simple, but this is trippy as heck. It's kind of like split in the half in the middle, which is just really cool. I hope this is the last station, the last uh, technical stage. A button again, circle. Isn't that means sim? Oh no, no. Okay, never mind. I thought it was. I thought it was simultaneous. Apparently not. Is there anything I can do here? Oh. 
Hmm. Huh? Interesting. I wonder what for. All right, we're united. Oh, that was the, was that the goal to reunite the row and the child? <laughs> oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, I was like, I thought I have to get to her. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see what ship we can make this time around. Ta da! Dun dun dun! Boom! Oh! It really is difficult to make an ugly shape with, um, whenever it's like a mirror this way. I forgot what it's called. I think it was like circle symmetry, I believe, if you were doing it in drawing. But it really is difficult to make an ugly shape this way. Because <laughs> any shape it comes out is going to look quite interesting, personally. <laughs> I mean, I, what I made just now was basically a star and this one. Kind of weird, but yeah, we'll take it. Side by side. Alrighty. Ta-da! Is that- wait, that's the shit we drew! Damn, alright. Hmm, but I think that's all I have for today. This is an introductory episode, and I believe there should be a decent amount of episodes in this game. So, thank you everyone for watching. If you do like this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my, ch feed, uh, ch to my channel. <laughs> if you do like this video, because I do upload contests like this quite daily, and then I do upload shorts of clips of my gameplay on Saturday and Sunday. Also, for more updates or you want to follow me or see my shenanigans, my retweets, I do I do um, retweet a lot of YouTuber art, yes, on Twitter. Follow, don't forget to follow me right here. So, thank you again for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Da-da.